Listen, we boiled it down to a solid three, okay? And you guys are on the on the short sentences. Whoa, 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 you know, whoa, whoa. Previously on America's Greatest Employee. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Luke, let's go! Oh! Let's go. The reigning champs. Oh! Uh oh! Let's go! Oh, the champions are together again! I can't wait to nominate America's Greatest Employee. It was then time for each team to decide which nominee they wanted to go to bat for. Are we, this up? Are we recording? Yep. Okay. okay, Jeff. I mean, we have to. We have to beat the reigning champs here. You failed last time, Kristen. The first one I got is nominated by this guy named Nick. Um, he's nominated a guy named Doyle Bryan, but he goes by Feller, and that's all I needed. Just, I don't know, it just sounds good. My number three, uh, Sarah Klopp nominated Brandon Rogers. Corey, he's a superintendent and takeoff estimator. Um, Corey excels at many things amongst, um, it's a very long list of construction. Um, my next one was nominated by a guy named Matt and he nominated a woman named Magdalene and she is a neonatal nurse practitioner in Minnesota. What she does in her daily life is just so commendable. She cares for the smallest and most vulnerable children in the Twin Cities. So these babies are sometimes 23 weeks old and can fit in the palm of somebody's hand. Has children so small it'll fit in the palm of a person's hand. This one just really hit home the fact that she's she's just working with children and actually saving their lives. A police officer from Alabama the person who nominated him was just talking up this police officer like he is, um, in, in her words, like a saint, goes above and beyond. Uh, for my number two, I have Peter. He's a mechanic. Um, he works at Kubota uh, over 30 years. He's got like a library of information in his head. I really like this guy, John. He's a, he's a great guy, Vietnam War vet. Number 73 says no matter what, no matter what, she shows up ready to get it done. No matter what, <laughs> she comes ready to get it done. All right, we agreed on it, all right. All right, we'll deal. we're gonna bring it home. <laughs> Magdalene, thank you for putting this submission in. It really, I think, it's a, I think it's a winner. Okay, well. Peter at Kota on the East Coast. See you soon. All right, let's, wait, let's bring her. Freaking win, man. Another big win. Pete, here comes some money. Let's go! Each season, the Boss Man team receives a few nominations that are, let's just say, short and sweet. The longer, heartfelt submissions generally get the most attention. But for season three, Luke and Jeff decided to take a chance on a nominator of few words. Okay. Let's do the get her done. Let's do get her done. Get her done number one. Get her done number one. My gut tells me when you show up, you should be ready to get things done. This is gonna be awesome. All we know is she gets things done. All right. Let's get her done. All right. When you gotta get her done, you gotta call Kind of Good Parts, home of the Dyko brand. Woo! Teens. We've all chosen our number ones. Yep. We're going to reveal them now. A lot of right after this commercial break. <laughs> hey, I'm Boss Man. It would be super awesome if you subscribe to this little YouTube channel so we can create more funny content and spread more love. Do it now, jerky. <laughs> a lot of good ones. Yeah, a lot of good ones. It's, it's, it is super tough. What team should we start with? Should we start with? We haven't named them yet. Who deliberated first? Well, let's the start right there. Chance. Let's start right. with the reigning champs there. The reigning okay. champs. So our number one, Peter Musial, uh, nominated by his son Niklas Musial, and we hope we're pronouncing that correctly. Niklas. Um, he is a mechanic at. He's been a mechanic um, at Kubota for over thirty years. Um, a mechanic. He's a I don't know, blue collar, just hard working. 
thought it was cool. He's got, he's a he's a technician, so he's behind the wall. You don't normally see technicians when you go to a dealership. And he has customers that come in every year on his birthday and bring him a cake and say how much they appreciate him for all his hard work. So, I mean, 30 years of being in the business, you probably make some friends, but normally the technicians don't, you don't talk to the technicians. So it speaks volumes that he isn't as customers coming to say how awesome he is. We chose Magdalene, Magdalene. a neonatal nurse practitioner in Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. Choice. She doesn't run an excavator. She doesn't run a bulldozer. She doesn't dig ditches. She saves lives. Mm -hmm. Little tiny lives that come in the world too early. She just got me. She pulled on the heartstrings. Mm -hmm. um, she just, I, I truly think nurses are very um, not unappreciated for all the work that they do. I mean, again, I have two kids myself and I, I can't thank my nurses enough for all that they did for me. So she's above and beyond anything that I ever experienced, so. Listen, we boiled it down to a solid three, okay? And you guys are on the on the short sentences. Whoa, 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 you know, whoa, whoa. Short and sweet is what, you know, <laughs> we, had, we had three solid uh, workers. A nurse. And a Steve's nurse. crying over here. How <laughs> could you use that language in his presence? But Jeff was very persuasive on who he settled down on. So Jeff, who, why do you like this one? You want to say it together? We should. Okay. Okay. One, two, two, three. three. No, no matter what, what, she shows up ready to, to get, get it done. Right. Anything. Anything. <laughs> Her name's Lexi, by the way. Get your business in front of more people with a Rev Media, proud sponsor of America's Greatest Employee. Kristen chose Magdalene, and now they're fighting for the contestant that I wanted. What should I do? I think you should switch teams. Conflict started to percolate when Andrew suggested a nomination trade for the hero nurse. Yeah. Oh. That's what, you, if you're okay with that, I, I don't, mean. I don't mind, um, just tell me what to do. <laughs> Okay. Just tell me what to do. I don't okay. want to break up the uh, golden team here, though. Like well, we kind of already did. <laughs> 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 that, so that's why I'm, that's, I, mean, I don't really care. So much for bringing home a second title with Andrew. Well, I'm not with Steve anymore. Oh, that's that's a twist twist on I'll be a partner yeah. with anything that. Why would you do that to him, though? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought we all had to have thicker skin. Ooh. <laughs> that's just not, that's not it adds right. more confession. Yeah, adds we can't break up the teams. We already made the teams. You want they go to a confessional right now. You, I got traded apparently. You want Chris <laughs> whinging about it. You want to take my partner? I do. Yes. Because I want you want Magdalene. Magdalene. That was my number one. But she talked you out of it. So she did. There you go. I Kristen did talked it. me back into it. Actually, I can't do I it. Can't do I can't do it. it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Magdalene needs money. my help. You know what? You guys you guys figured it out. All right, this is getting stupid. I'm putting in my two weeks. You, you call me when you guys are ready. Goodbye. On the next America's Greatest Employee. He has made the top three for season three of America's Greatest Employee. Oh, wow, thanks. I'm getting like chills. <laughs> ah, that is great. We got chills here, too. Oh, good afternoon. I'm looking for uh, Jeffrey Yelvington. But he doesn't have a phone. Can I take a message? He doesn't have a phone. Oh, Kristen and Andrew's nominator is MIA. Justice. I've got it.